Next up, Senator Grassley. Thank you, Madam Chairman. My first question is to Professor Morton, Mr. Lewis, and Ms. Lewis. In your testimony, you express support for the American Online Innovation Choice Act, uh, how it deals with the uh, dig digital market abuses. You've just heard a testimony by Professor Francis and Professor Kandub uh, expressing a number of concerns with the bill. So I'd like to have the three of you briefly explain uh, why you agree or disagree with Professor Kandub and uh, Francis. Uh, the, the ACOA is very specific in the uh, any competitive harms that it's trying to solve, um, issues of self-preferencing, issues of tying, uh, issues of control of data. And uh, and so I, I think the, the specific specificity that Mr. Francis is looking for is in the bill. Um, regarding the concerns about uh, uh, free expression, uh, free expression is a core value for my organization. Um, I believe that uh, ACOA specifically targets any competitive harms, um, uh, and I don't believe that content moderation on a platform, a single platform, is necessarily an any competitive harm. Um, uh, discrimination. You have other platforms to choose from. Well, you do. Discrimination looks different on every platform, uh, but the internet has infinite channels. And by promoting competition, we're giving uh, users a choice of platforms to go to and I, and I know there's going to be another hearing on content moderation uh, in the future um, I think that's the proper place where if folks are concerned with too much or too little content moderation uh, to address those concerns specifically uh, but this bill uh, uh, dealing with uh, any competitive harms uh, has a secondary impact uh, that by promoting competitive choices lets users vote with their feet and, and go elsewhere if they don't like the moderation choices that they're given on a specific platform. So uh, I don't think it's restrictive at all, and I don't find those choices to moderate content to be anti-competitive. 